First Chronicles 10.13 So Saul died for his transgression, which he com committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord, which he kept not, and also for acts and counsel of one that hath familiar a witch spirit to inquire of it. Ten reasons why people consult a witch than praying to God. Ten reasons why people consult a witch without praying to God. Number one, they want instant blessing. Number two, they want to inquire spirits that everyone have a familiarity with. Number three, they they want what is interested to them rather than asking God. Number four, they they say they are intelligent to, to seek a witch rather than going to God they can't see or feel. Number five, they are not comfortable with an invisible God business. So they want to see who they are speaking in front of. Number six, they have not, they have no idea of going to God, so they consult a witch on the telephone or in a booth. Number seven, they lost their identity when they went to church, so they are seeking a witch for answer instantly. Number eight, they are insulting God. They are they are in, insulting God by going to the devil for answer on their life matters. I'm talking about ten reasons why people consulting a witch rather than going to God. And guess what happened, my friend? They will end up dying like so because they consult a witch rather than praying to God. My friend, and, and, and I'm going to say this, my friend, Saul died for disobedience. God, he died for consulting a witch. Because the Bible say, so Saul died for transgression, which he committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord, which he kept not. And, and, and number eight, they are consulting God by going to the devil for answer. Number nine, they are ignorant of going to demonic forces for answer. Number ten, they let the devil interrupt their destiny. Now they are doomed, consulting a witch like Saul.